Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on represents the given statements in symbolic form using quantifiers. Or represent the quantified statements in symbolic form using universal quantifier and existential quantifier. In the previous video, we are already discussed about two example problems on how to represent the given statements in symbolic form using quantifiers. Now, please refer that video for better understanding of how we are representing the given statements in symbolic form using quantifiers. Now, in this video, we have to solve another two example problems on how to represent the quantified statements in symbolic form. Okay. So, here, uh, this is the third problem. In the previous video, two problems are completed. Please refer that one. Write down the quantified statements in symbolic form. First statement, all monkeys have tails. Second statement, no monkey has a tail. Third statement, some monkeys have tails. And fourth statement, some monkeys have no tails. Okay. So, first of all, let us consider, let us consider, X is a monkey. In this one, so X is the subject, is a monkey is the predicate. Is a monkey is the predicate that can be denoted by capital M. Okay. X is the subject, so that can be written within the parenthesis. So now, X is a monkey can be written in M of X. So here M of X is called as proposition function. Okay. Next one, second one, uh, X has a tail. X has a tail. So here X is the subject, has a tail is the predicate. So has a tail is the predicate, it can be denoted by capital T. X is the subject that can be write within the parenthesis. Where M of X and T of X are called as predicate functions. Okay. That predicate belongs to only one subject that is called as X. Okay. Now, by using these predicate functions or our proposition functions, we have to represent the above statements in symbolic form. Okay. The first statement is all monkeys have tails. The above statement can be rewritten as for all x comma if x is a monkey then it has a tail then it has a tail okay so this is the this is the uh, rewritten form of statement a all monkeys have tail. All can be written as for all x. If x is a monkey, then it has a tail. Now, this can be represented in symbolic form. For all x can be written as for all x. Next one, if x is a monkey, is represented x is a monkey, can be represented by m of x. Next one, X has a tail. So that means it means X. X has a tail can be represented by using T of X. Okay. In between them, what is the connective is the if then. If then connective can be represented by conditional. Okay. For all X, if X is a monkey, then X has a tail. Okay. So this is the uh, symbolic form of this statement. This statement can be rewritten as in this way. Then it can be represented in symbolic form. Okay. 
नेक्स्ट सेकंड स्टेटमेंट नो मंकी हैज ए टेल नो मंकी हैज ए टेल मींस एवरी मंकी हैज नॉट ए टेल एवरी मंकी हैज नॉट ए टेल ओके दैट कैन बी रिटर्न एज फॉर ऑल एक्स कॉमा इफ एक्स इज ए मंकी then x has not a tail x has not a tail x has not a tail okay so this statement can be rewritten as this one no monkey has a tail that means every monkey has not a tail okay that can be written as for all x if x is a monkey then x has not a tail for all x can be written as this one next x is a monkey can be written as m of x x has not a tail x has a tail means p of x x has not a tail means negation p of x okay in between them what is the connective is the if then connective so if then connective can be represented by using conditional for all x if x is a monkey then x has not a tail okay next third statement some monkeys have tails okay so this statement can be written as there is at least one x there is at least one x comma such that such that x is a monkey x is a monkey and x has a tail x has a tail okay so this statement can be rewritten as in this way there is at least one x such that x is a monkey and x has a tail so this can be this can be represented in symbolic form there is at least one x can be written as can be represented in there exist x next such that x is a monkey x is a monkey means m of x x has a tail means uh, t of x x has a tail means t of x in between them and the connective is there okay so m of x and uh, t of x there is at least one x such that x is a monkey and x has a tail okay next fourth statement some monkeys have no tails okay some monkeys have no tails means there is at least one x such that x is a monkey and x has not a tail okay same this statement can be written as there is at least one x such that such that x is a monkey x is a monkey and x has not a tail x has not a tail okay this statement can be rewritten as in this way so there is at least one x means there exist x next x is a monkey means m of x x has not a tail means negation t of x in between them and the connective is there okay so this is the rep symbolic representation of this statement okay next one so next one is uh, write down the quantified statements in symbolic form okay so first statement some people who trust others are rewarded someone is teasing no one is ambiguous if anyone is good then john is good it is not true that all road all roads leads to delhi okay in this one first of all what are the predicates are there that predicates can be represented in symbolic form 
ओके हियर पीपल ट्रस्ट अदर्स रिवॉर्डेड इज टीजिंग इज एम्बिग्वेस नेक्स्ट वन इज गुड इज गुड ऑल रोड्स लीड्स टू डेल्ही लीड्स टू डेल्ही ओके सो दिस कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड इन दिस फॉर्म ओके हियर मंकीज टेक्स ओके हियर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस कंसीडर लेट अस कंसीडर ओके सो एक्स इज पीपल लेट अस कंसीडर एक्स इज पीपल ओके हियर इज पीपल इज द प्रेडिकेट so that can be represented by capital p so x is nothing but subject so x is people can be represented by p of x next trust others is nothing but x trust others x trust others so here trust others is the predicate and x is the subject so t of x T means trust others. X means subject. Next, rewarded. Okay, X is rewarded. X is rewarded. Okay, X is rewarded means is rewarded is the predicate. Okay, so that can be represented by R. And what is the subject here? X. Yes. R of X. Next one is teasing, so it can be represented by X is teasing. X is teasing. Okay, is teasing is the predicate. X is the subject. So predicate is capital T. In between the parenthesis, the subject is X. We have to write. Next one. X is ambitious. ambitious x is ambitious okay so is ambitious is the predicate and the subject is x it can be denoted by a of x okay next is good that means x is a good x is good okay is good is the predicate and x is the subject so it can be represented by g of x next one x is a road x is a road is a road is the predicate x is the subject so that can be represented by r of x okay next one x leads to delhi x leads to delhi okay so leads to delhi is the predicate and x is the subject it can be denoted by l of x okay so all are represented by using predicates okay now the first statement how we are representing the first statement in symbolic form some people who trust others are rewarded that means it can be rewritten as there is at least one x such that x is a people and x trust others and x is rewarded so that can be written as there is at least one x that can be written as there exist x okay such that x is a people that means p of x and x trust others so that is a t of x and x is a rewarded that means r of x rewarded r of x here this r can be written as r o r o of x okay because here r is there it can be written as r o of x okay so this is the symbolic representation of the first statement there is at least one x such that x is a people and 
X trust others and X is rewarded. Okay. Next, second statement. Someone is teasing. Someone is teasing. It can be written as there is at least one X such that X is a people and X is teasing. Okay. There is at least one X. That is that there exists X such that X is a people and X is teasing. So that is a P of X and T of X. Okay. Here X trust others can be written as T O. X is teasing is nothing but T of X. Okay. So there is at least one X such that X is a people and X trust others. So X trust uh, X is teasing. That means T of X. Okay. Second one is complete. There is at least one X such that uh, X is a people and X is teasing. Okay. Next one. Third statement. No one is ambitious. No one is ambitious means everyone is not ambitious. Everyone is nothing but for all X. For all X, okay, X is a, uh, if X is a people, then X is not ambitious. Okay, so X is a people means P of X, conditional, X is not ambitious. X is not ambitious means negation A of X. A of X is ambitious. Negation of A of X is nothing but not ambitious. For all X, if X is a people, then X is not ambitious. Okay. Next one. Fourth one, D. If anyone is good, then John is good. So it can be rewritten as for all X, if X is a people, then X is good. Okay. So then John is a good. Okay. So it can be rewritten as, okay, for all, uh, if anyone is good, that means for all X, if X is a people and X is a good, then John is good. Okay. For all X, okay. If X is a people, if X is a people means uh, P of X and X is good and X is good means, so that is uh, G of X. Okay, so then John is good. So John is good means, so G of John because in the place of X, we have to write the name because John is good. Okay. For all X, if X is a people and X is a good, then John is good. Okay. Next. Fifth statement. Okay. It is not true that all roads, all roads means not for all X. Okay, it is not true that means negation, all means for all x. Okay, if x is a road, then it leads to Delhi. Okay, x is a road means, so that is a RO of x. Then x leads to Delhi means, that is L of x. So in between them, conditional is there. So negation for all x. R, 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 o of X, R, O of X means X is a road. If X is a road, then X leads to Rome. Okay. So this is the fifth statement. So in this way, we have to represent the uh, quantified statements in symbolic form. In the next video, we have to discuss about one more example problem on represent the statements in symbolic form. Okay, I hope all of you understanding uh, this concept. First of all, how we are uh, rewriting the given statement. Based on that rewritten statement, we can easily represent the 
given statement in symbolic form so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel name so dibbela srinivasarao